Hello, future scuba, scuba divers. divers. Today you are here to learn about scuba diving safety and we are your instructors. Scuba diving can be very dangerous if you do not take several precautions. So we're here to explain how to dive safely and have fun. One important thing to note is Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law states that the volume of a fixed mass of gas varies inversely with the pressure at constant temperature. The equation is PV equals K, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, and K is a constant. P and V vary inversely. Air spaces in the body are subjected to pressure and volume change, in direct proportion to your depth. These areas which are vulnerable to be affected are called compressible. Because they contain air, these areas are vulnerable to the effects which water pressure can have on it, and therefore the diver would suffer the consequences explained by Boyle's Law in them. What this will mean to you is, as you go further beneath the surface of the water, the gas in your body, the oxygen tank, etc., will compress, and as you ascend towards the surface, the gases will expand. This is why bubbles get bigger when they approach the surface, or why deep uh, deep sea fish die when they leave the depth. Here are some important rules to follow when scuba diving. Number one, ascend no faster than 30 feet per minute, one foot every two seconds. A slow ascent is essentially a rolling decompression stop, allowing your body to flush out and exhale dissolved nitrogen before it forms bubbles. If a diver does not ascend slowly enough, tiny nitrogen bubbles will form in their tissue and blood, causing decompression sickness. Remember that when pressure decreases, volume increases, according to Boyle's Law, which is why slow ascent is important so the bubbles don't expand quickly. Number two, take into consideration the increased gas usage at depth. If you do not factor this in, you will run out of air as you dive. However, it is crucial that you don't hold your breath as you ascend. If you do, the gas in your lungs will expand due to the decreasing pressure, which can lead to pulmonary barotrauma. Other health consequences caused by ignoring these crucial rules include barotrauma, which is tissue damage from resulting from gas volume changes in an enclosed space. This can be in your sinus, face mask, gastrointestines, and external ear. Increased pressure upon descent can cause bleeding in the ears and sinuses, as well as on the skin of the face due to mask squeeze. These injuries are a result of compressing gases, as stated by Boyle's Law. Decompression sickness is another health risk of scuba diving. This occurs when the diver descends and the increased water pressure causes an increased partial pressure of oxygen and nitro nitrogen in tissue and fluids. The symptoms are pain in the shoulder, elbow, and knee typically. Overall, each and every one of you should follow these crucial safety rules for your own benefit. Scuba diving is extremely fun and a rewarding hobby. It should not be done carelessly, though. It's not fun if you die. Thanks for watching. And tune in next time for our video on scuba hand signals.